Hello lovely people and welcome to the Art Hive. In today's video I'm going to give you a tour of my Inktober sketchbook for the 31 days of October 2017. So before I go and show you the flip through of the sketchbook and my Inktober pictures I thought I would just show you briefly a few of the supplies or the main supplies that I used when I was doing my drawings and obviously the first one was the black Winsor & Newton ink and that just comes in a really neat little pot like this and that is permanent ink I did use a couple of other colours as well and I'll tell you about those as I go through the sketchbook so to apply this ink I used a couple of paint brushes and the one I used the most were these two and they're round paint brushes um, this little one is a size 3 by Winsor & Newton it's just a foundation paint brush and this larger one for applying more ink at once was a Aquafine De La Rowney size 12. I also used a dip pen and that was good for details and line work and that's that. And then to get the ink out of the bottle as well as using a paintbrush you can use a pet and that was really good if I wanted to do light washes or dilute the ink with water. So to start with when I did my drawings I outlined them with this fine liner, this is a Copic multi liner in size 0.1 and I really like using this because it was very fine and also waterproof. So last of all I used a, a white Uniball's Signo Broad gel pen and that was really good for highlights and I also used this um, with a brush as well and water to add lighter areas and use it pretty much like a white ink with a paintbrush. So on with the sketchbook tour then. So Inktober 2017 and I did largely follow the prompts that were given on Jake Parker's website. I'll put a link to his channel up above and I sort of put my twist on it by thinking that I would do an animal for each day of the month and try and match it up or link it with the topic words of each day. So sometimes this proved a bit difficult but we got there in the end and 31 animals were drawn. So the first word for day one was swift and the only thing I could think to draw for this day was a little swift, which is a bird. I'm also using, I was going to mention the sketchbook or the um, watercolour pad that I'm using is a moleskin or moleskine and I really like the size of this and it was really good for applying water because it is watercolour paper. So there we are and that's the swift. And as I mentioned, I did use the Copic Multiliner just to do the fine detail on this one and a white gel pen just for some highlights and highlights in the eyes. I also did a bit of a background with some green ink that was also Winsor & Newton and I just thought that gave it a bit more depth and yeah, that was that one. So day two was divided. Now, Divided was a bit of a tricky word to link with an animal because I couldn't really think of anything obvious to start with but I did come up with the idea of a dragonfly because its body is divided into segments. Now this was the first drawing, it is actually one of two because I wasn't too happy with this one. The reference picture I used um, gave a really nice sort of image of the wings and they were sort of in motion because the dragonfly was on this plant. Um, but I didn't really get that down and I wasn't too happy with it so I did do another dragonfly and this was the one that I posted on Instagram and Twitter as my drawing for Divided and I was happier with this one because um, I got a little bit more detail and used the white gel pen with, gel pen with the wings and also was quite pleased with the, sort of the shadow effect and that I used another colour again, I think it was a blue Winsor & Newton ink, just to add a bit more excitement to the picture. 
So day three and the word was poison. So for this animal, I drew, drew a poisonous tree frog. And I really like this one actually. I wasn't too sure on how it would turn out, but I thought just doing the, the sort of the black with some diluted washes kind of made it stand out and it was quite effective. And I also then added some red ink and did some splatters there as well just to kind of make it look a bit more poisonous, I guess. Okay, so day four was underwater. The word was underwater, and there were lots of things, ideas that I had to draw for underwater, but I settled on a seahorse. Now, I wasn't too happy with this one, just because to me it looked a bit flat, but it was quite fun to do the little white um, details on him. I just thought it could have been a bit more, I don't know really, just a bit more exciting. I did add some white spots to that black, but it was just so black. Anyway, I did post it and it was another day done. So day five was long, the word was long, and although I didn't do a video for this one, I'd done a larger picture of a giraffe, obviously with a long neck. And I really enjoyed this doing this one and it was I just really I was quite pleased with it I just did it in the black and um, white so you can see that I did add some white um, detail with my gel pen but yeah I just really liked him so day six was sword and so the animal I chose was a swordfish as you can see and this one was okay. Um, I did try and do some sort of like water drops and um, try to make the fish look really shiny with some blue ink. So that was that. And day seven, the word was shy. So I chose to do a little deer because they're notoriously shy. And this one was the one that I did actually use some masking fluid on and I applied that and then uh, once it was dry, used my uh, brown inks just to go over and fill in some colour and then rubbed off the areas that I'd left and I thought that was quite effective. And day eight, the word was crooked. So again, a bit of a challenge when you're trying to think of an animal that's crooked, but I came up with the crooked smile of a crocodile. And this one took quite a long time because there's quite a lot of detail but I think it was quite effective and I was quite pleased with this one. So day nine was Screech and I did a parrot. And again, this one was quite detailed, so it did take me a little while, but I was quite pleased with the overall effect. And on this one, I didn't use any masking fluid. I was just really careful and used my fine paintbrush just to go in and left the the little white feathers just to give it that effect and he was fun so day 10 the word was gigantic and this was one of the ones that I did as a video which I will link in the top right hand corner there and this one it was really fun and I did add a little bit of color to him so you can see he's not just black and white um, just to give it a bit more dimension um, yep so that's gigantic day 11 and the word was run so to me that was quite obvious to draw a cheetah and for the most part I did him in black and white ink but I did add some brown or orange ink for his eyes just to make them stand out and a few splatters as well Day 12 was shattered, and rather than draw a shattered animal, because I couldn't really think what that would be, I did decided, did, did, decided, decided to draw an animal that was shattered, as in tired out. So I drew this little raccoon, and I quite enjoyed doing him. The colours were more flat, um, but I think because there's a range from really white in his ears and his whiskers to really dark on his coat, I thought it was quite effective. Ah, day 13. Now the word here was teeming and this was another one where I did 
two different pictures and stayed up ridiculously late to finish it because I wasn't that happy with how this first drawing came out. I seem to have a bit of an issue with drawing back black backgrounds. So I did this picture because um, I was going to try out and get different effects within the water but it didn't really work so I ended up doing this again just without that dark black background and just did the same picture but did sort of a splattery effect. So day 14 was fierce and I did this tiger and again I used a similar technique to the one I did for the cheetah and just did some coloured ink in his eyes. So day 15 and the word was mysterious, now this was quite tricky and I had to think really hard about what animal I could draw that was mysterious so I came up with this cobra and just kind of thinking that um, maybe the way that they sort of rise up and coil around to music and that kind of thing made them quite mysterious. So this did take a little bit of time doing all the sort of the lines and the details and I didn't add any colour to this one because I was quite happy that it was okay without extra colour and again like to me sort of a good picture is one that you've got different contrast so you've got the contrast between the really white areas and the really dark areas as well. Day 16 and the word was fat and so it was a hippo and I kind of didn't know whether to do a pig which was my first thought or to do a hippo and being that I kind of planned out what animals I was going to do before I even started Inktober so that I wouldn't end up wishing I'd done one animal for another day so I did a hippo for fat and then I drew the pig for another drawing later on I think when the word was filthy and you'll see that in a minute so yeah, I was quite pleased with him. I like the look on his face, his expression there, and also his position, so I was quite happy with him. So day 17, and the word was graceful, and that was another one that I did a video for, and I thought a graceful swan. And I will link the video to this one up here as well, if you want to go and check that out, if you haven't seen it. So this is the pig one, this is day 18 and the word was filthy, so this poor little pig here got to be drawn because he was pretty muddy and I used a, I think it was a diluted um, red ink to get this pinky colour and added some brown as well and some splatters to add to the filthy effect and also went in with my fine liner and did the outline as well with that. was cloud again another tricky one to kind of think of an animal that you could draw for that word and a couple of friends suggested a sheep so that's what I drew and it turned out okay I mean there's not many blue or purple sheeps hanging around but I wanted to kind of make the sheep look more cloud like and added a bit of something different by using blue and purple inks with that one day 20 and I drew a jellyfish and the word was deep so another one where I struggled to kind of come up with something that I was happy with um, I had the idea of a jellyfish and I would got a couple of reference pictures and just kind of didn't really do it for me when I'd finished with this and I think the thing that sport it was actually these brown lines which I'd gone in with I think it was a Faber Castell um, brown kind of felt pen, ink pen. Um, I like the sort of frondy bits that I've done here and the background actually, but wasn't too happy with it on the whole. So I drew another one and leaving out the brown, and then I used my dip pen to do the fronds here. But being a bit impatient. I didn't wait for the background to dry, so they kind of spread a bit. So all in all, not a day that I was particularly happy with, but we still finished that day. So, day 21, and the word was furious, and that was one that I have done a video for. Again, I will try to link that up above, and that was my ostrich picture. 
So this was the time that I used a different technique to do the feathers and I used a spray bottle just with water in it and I was really pleased with this sort of feathered effect because it didn't take me much time at all to do that. All the time that was taken was to do the eyes and the feathers on the top here. So that was furious. Day 22 and the word was trail. So I wanted to draw a little snail and I found this reference picture of a snail and a cherry. And this was a really fun one to do because I think I used masking fluid again just to kind of block out the really white areas like that and it was a really good exercise to kind of get the darkest darks compared to the brightest whites and kind of make it look shiny which I think I kind of did on this one. So that was trail. Number 23 and the day's word was juicy. So again what animal would you draw for juicy? Well I kind of drew a guinea pig eating a juicy piece of melon and got around it that way and I did enjoy doing this one because not only do I have three guinea pigs of my own but it was quite a sweet little face to do and nice to kind of try some different effects with the melon as well and also to get the, the fur um, which I think I used a very fine paint paintbrush for and just did lots of little lines in the direction that the fur was growing. So day 24 and the word was blind and immediately I thought of a bat but actually bats aren't blind so I learned so I drew a man instead and to start with I thought this was going to be really a bit dull but because a lot of the reference pictures of moles they didn't really have many characteristics so I thought it would be a bit dull so I added a little bit of pink on his nose and his paws and actually it turned out okay a little bit of splattering around the edge there and yeah it didn't turn out too bad so day 25 and the word was ship and what do you draw when the word is ship well I decided to draw a cat thinking of a ship's cat and so I just drew this little tabby cat here and on my reference photo I think there was kind of a background where the cat was um, in a pool of light which I thought, kind of thought was good because then I could do the shadows and contrast the light areas of the cat's ears and whiskers with the dark background so I didn't do the whole page. So he was quite fun. Day 26 and I think this is my favourite one out of the whole month because the word was squeak and I wanted to draw a mouse and he just turned out really well. Some days I had good days, other days not so much but this one I was really pleased with. He didn't really take that long and I think the contrast again between the dark black of his tail, his nose and his paws against the sort of the white background of the paper and also doing a little bit of shadow I thought it was really quite effective so this is my absolute favourite out of the whole month. Okay day 27 and the word was climb so I thought of all these sort of climbing animals and came up with a koala and this little guy nestling in the tree um, kind of turned out okay and yeah didn't add any colour with that one but just did a little bit of detail I think just after the ink had dried with my fine liner just to get some texture on the tree there and also on his coat as well. So day 28 and the word was fall. Now this is me being a bit of a wally because I took it to mean fall over and came up with a goat because there is a breed of goat especially when they're young I think that when they get scared they kind of freeze and they end up falling over because they're all like stiff and they topple over. What it probably meant was autumn but hey that's just the way it goes but we still end up with a picture and this goat I quite enjoyed doing and decided to add a little bit of coloured ink on the background just to make him stand out. So day 29 nearly at the end and the word was united and what I came up with were these three little meerkats because 
they tend to kind of group together, look after each other, and I think where one looks out and the other goes foraging for food, I kind of thought that they were united. So that was quite good. Um, I did again use some masking fluid for this one just to leave the, the white areas and added some white gel pen just for the fluffy sort of feathers there as well. Feathers? Fur. Fluffy fur. <laughs> and that was that one. And day 30, I quite like this one as well, um, was, oh there's my little stickery thing. I cut this out to put them on each day so I didn't have to spoil each picture. Um, day 30 the word was found and I thought um, first of all I was going to draw a crab but didn't really fancy drawing a crab when it came around to day 30 and so I found this reference picture of a blackbird who had found a worm and again just added a highlight colour um, yellow on the beak there just to make it stand out but this one was really fun as well so that was all that was in my sketchbook and the last one I did for day 31 was mask and this is when I drew my splattered drippy panda picture which I've also done a video for if you want to check that out and this one I just had a bit of a play around with the different colours and having gained a little bit of confidence with how the ink laid down and how it mixed with water and how it worked I just went in and had a bit of fun with this one played about with the colours and came up with this panda and I drew him for mask just because I thought of his eye patches were a bit mask like and didn't really know what other animal I could draw so anyway I hope you've enjoyed my sketchbook tour of Inktober if you have then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like and subscribe and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye!